from Mission Space Cosmic Rewind Soren and Test Track, we are going to tell you all of the secrets you need to know about these rides here at Epcot. There are secrets? There are secrets and we're going to let everyone know today. It's super windy so make sure you thumbs up the video and don't forget to like and subscribe so you can stay up to date on all things Disney. Ring that bell notification. Bing. Our first ride here today at Epcot is going to be Mission Space. Spaceship Earth is Epcot's oldest ride opening October 1st, 1982. It is made up of over 11,000 triangles and is 165 feet in diameter, 180 feet tall, and weighs 16,000 pounds. Have you ever noticed that if you stand underneath the Spaceship Earth ball during a rainstorm that you don't get wet? That's because Spaceship Earth has a unique gutter system that takes rainwater and drains it out into the Showcase Lagoon, keeping everyone who stands underneath dry. Take a look at the wall behind the Jewish Islam scene. That is actually a freight elevator for cast members to bring supplies up to the ball. In the monk scene, look at the red arrow. That's actually a Bible that has Imagineers names, Walt Disney himself, and it even has a hidden Mickey. You may recognize these two in the Renaissance scene. That is John and daughter from Carousel of Progress. In this scene, this is an actual operator switchboard from the 1800s. Welcome to the future. Or should I say, your future. The home in the city will be a smart home that automatically knows what you with a computerized personal shop. custom made outfit. Mission Space is Epcot's oldest ride. My face on that little character. It's really weird. It's like a little horn. I don't know what that was. I no idea. I always cover my face. Is that why you weren't on there? Because I think that's really weird. And if you look crazy, everybody can see that when you get off the ride. From the oldest ride here at Epcot to the newest ride, let's go over to Guardians of the Galaxy and share some of our secrets. I am Groot. <laughs> Forget hidden Mickeys. In Cosmic Rewind's standby line, there's actually a hidden Walt standing in front of the original plans for Epcot. You can even spot a Maelstrom warning, which is a nod to the old ride in the Norway Pavilion of Epcot. That ride was taken over by Frozen's Ever After. Cosmic Rewind has lots of secrets, from hidden Mickeys to hidden turkey legs. What are some of your favorite secrets on this ride? Make sure you let me know in the comments below. about Guardians of the Galaxy, let's head over to Test Track so we can tell you some more secrets. Test Track has changed over the years and rumor has it it's going to be changing again very soon. The next time you're on Test Track, look to the left as you transition to the outside track. This fun to be free sign is a nod to the old World of Motion ride and its theme song titled It's Fun to be Free. 
As you walk through the line queue of Test Track, you are going to see other nods to the World of Motion ride. They even have the old logo on their trash cans. here at Epcot. Some people don't like it. Some people really love it. I think it's great, especially toward the end when you're just going around that big circle at 65 miles per hour. I think it's awesome. I like trying to build my own car. See how fast it is compared to everybody else. And I always win. Not always. Okay. I'm so glad the wall is down. Now I don't have to walk all the way around the wall just to get to the other side. Take me a shortcut. So we're gonna go through the center part of Epcot, something we haven't been able to do in what, four or five years. Let's go take a walk through as we head over to Soren so we can learn some more secrets about Epcot. World of Celebration is Epcot's newest neighborhood. It opened on December 5th, 2023, sharing Walt Disney's birthday. It is also home to Dreamers Point that has a statue of Walt Disney. It's very busy over there today, so we're going to come back later and check him out. So make sure you hit that notification bell. What's that? So that is going to be the new Communicore Plaza. Basically, it's going to be where we are going to do the meet and greets for all the characters. We are about to make our way over to Soren, one of my favorite rides here at Epcot. We're going to share some of our secrets and tell you some of our favorite parts of this ride. Before we go soaring around the world or soaring around California, we have to talk about Food Rocks. This attraction opened March 26, 1994, and was the original attraction before either of the soaring rides took over. This attraction closed on January 3, 2004 to make room for soaring over California. And it wouldn't be a secrets video if I didn't dig through the interwebs and find some video of this classic attraction. Hello, Epcot Center, and welcome to the All-Star Benefit for Good Nutrition. Hey, thanks, everybody. You know, your food knows a thing or two about eat right. Take it from the pick of the crop. Food Rocks was cute and a little scary, but let's talk about some of my favorite secrets of Soarin' Over California. In the kayak scene and the skiing scene, those are actually staged actors and athletes, and those scenes took hours to film. And if you pay close attention, you'll find a hidden Mickey on the side of the mountain. One of my favorite rides here at Epcot. I love Soarin' Over California. The smell of the orange groves. Yeah, I like the old version. I don't like the new one. I wish they would just make a newer one. That would be better. That's gonna be it for us today here at Epcot. Thank you for hanging out with us and learning some of the best kept secrets here at Epcot. Ring that bell notification so that way you know when part two is coming out. Till next time. Bye.